Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to recreate the Filipino makeup look and the makeup that I used to wear all the time in Manila or in the Philippines um, while I used to live there. I actually really like this makeup look because it is quite natural. It's long lasting. I just really love that Filipino makeup is to accentuate your features rather than to change it. I would love to recreate it for you guys because I am reminiscing a little bit of my home, my other home. I'm constantly looking back at photos and thinking of my life of when I used to live in the Philippines. And I thought maybe one of the ways I can feel like I'm back in my other home again is to recreate the makeup look I used to do and so here it is also disclaimer I feel I'm quite ill at the moment I don't know if you can tell with my voice but I have a blocked nose but I really felt inspired to create a YouTube video today so please bear with me I personally like my voice when I'm sick because it does sound not as high-pitched not that I hate my voice but I do really like the whole croakiness <laughs> I don't know about you that's definitely me. So I'm starting off with my skincare. I'm using the RMS Kakadu Luxe Cream. So the Filipino sun is very, very strong. Of course, it's important for us to wear sunscreen. So I'm gonna put on my La Roche-Posay Anthalius 50 Plus SPF. I used to wear this all the time in the Philippines actually. Not this specific one, but the non-tinted sunscreen. And that one is really, really nice for me because I have like acne prone skin to minimize all the dirt that will go on my skin and to not clog my pores as much, I use this. This is non-comedonal. I super recommend using this sunscreen if you have acne prone skin. That sunscreen actually added a little bit of tint, which I really, really like because my face is naturally lighter than my body because I do use retinol, vitamin C that like strips away the color of your or the pigment of your skin. I find that a lot of them don't wear foundation. I personally didn't really wear foundation because it's so humid and it's so hot that you're just gonna sweat out your makeup. Does that make sense? So I usually just use like my concealer. I personally just use the Maybelline Instant Rewind, Instant Rewind Eraser. I use the color 06, I think. Obviously you use your own, but that's more yellow. And I recently learned that my skin is on the neutral side. It's not on the warm side. So I'm gonna try and use this concealer in number three. Pop that in the parts where I feel like I have discoloration around my nose and around under my eyes, on my forehead. I personally find Filipino makeup to have that cool girl, I don't care vibe because they really don't put a lot of makeup on. I use a lot more makeup now in Sydney than when I was in the Philippines. It's very interesting how different countries have different standards when it comes to makeup and I really love it. I love learning all about it. I also find that makeup in Sydney is very thick. There's a lot of contouring. There's a lot of bronzer, more eyeshadow and like lip liner, lipstick situation. So sometimes I do wear my Filipino style makeup when I go to the gym, when I feel like I just wanna feel pretty. I feel pretty when I don't have makeup, but I just feel a little bit more confident when I have a little bit of makeup. I don't know, it adds a boost of confidence to me. For the sake of this video though, I'm gonna add a little bit of foundation. Just using the Forever Skin Glow by Dior. And I'm gonna add a Liquid Radiance Highlighter from Vanity to recreate the Charlotte Tilbury Skin Perfecting Glow or something like that. I don't know what it's called because I don't have it. Again, Filipino makeup is very natural. We're gonna move on now to our blush. So I have this Korean lip tint called Art Class Clair Tint in Gleam Red. Filipino love their tint. They love it. And I swear every single makeup brand in the Philippines sells skin tint, which makes sense because the Philippines is so humid, right? It's so hot. Your makeup will literally melt <laughs> as soon as you step out of your home. As you know, skin tint, lip tints, cheek tints last the whole day. Even when you swim out in the ocean, so you say you go on a holiday in Boracay, El Nido, Siargao, etc. You wear this when you go in the water, your makeup will not come off. You will have that glow as if you're sunburnt. And I think that's the kind of look that 
a lot of Filipinos go for that sunburnt look. I did something wrong here that I don't know if a lot of people do, which is take their skin tint all the way here. From what I've noticed from a lot of people is they have their tint like just down here and across their nose. I personally don't do that. All I do is go here, stops there, and then put the tint on my nose just a little, just a little bit here, and then from here again. But I know a lot of Filipinos go like this. I feel like this is the typical Filipino face tint, cheek tint. They're creating that sunburnt look. I personally don't think it looks good on me. I know it looks good on a lot of people. I actually get quite jealous that this look looks good on other people, but I just personally don't think it looks good on me. They also take their, their tint up here and here. By the way, this smells like passion fruit and I'm obsessed. I'm hoping I go to Korea just so I can buy more of this because I'm running out. We're gonna take actually a liquid highlighter. This is from Pearl Glam by Celeste Co. This is from the Philippines and this color is champagne. We're gonna do some liquid highlighting because why not coconut? Like that, that, and on our, what's it called? Eyebrows on our nose, maybe here as well for the gag. I might just conceal my under eye a little bit more because I might have taken that lip tint way too high because I like a really bright under eye. I'm gonna put some here as well because I don't like having a red nose around here. It's just not me. <laughs> I'm gonna tap it in our translucent powder. This is from Dior. Capture the towel. I think this is a really good color for me because again, I learned recently that I am a neutral shade. I'm not warm. Neutral cool tone shade. That's apparently me. So we're just gonna go like that. We're gonna do this just because our makeup is literally gonna melt if we don't do this. I'm pretty sure, and I could be wrong, but I think a lot of Filipinos use pulbos. I don't know why. It smells really nice. I used to wear a lot of pulbos when I was living in Aklan when I was younger. <laughs> I used to get a lot of rashes all the time and I would be like one of those really annoying stubborn kid who would touch anything and everything on the ground. And so there would be a lot of caterpillars on the ground, like those hairy ones. And when you touch it, you like have the most insane rashes ever. Anyway, that used to be me. My memory of pulbos was funny because yeah it was a painful memory <laughs> anyway i just took that translucent powder and i put it all over my face because we want our makeup to stay all day in the sun of the philippines we're gonna move on to our bronzer the philippines has a lot of tan people who are in the sun and they have the most beautiful skin tone ever a lot of them are white though because the effects of gluta drip makes you white. I don't know if that's the purpose of a lot of people and why they take Gluta, but Gluta is really good for you. And then we're gonna take the exact same um, bronzer powder. We are going to use that as eyeshadow. Okay, we're gonna use an eyeshadow brush. Just go like this. And we're gonna use the exact same bronzer again to contour our nose. Just a little bit. We don't want too much. Again, we just wanna look effortlessly cute. I'm gonna contour our lips because why not? <laughs> because Filipinos are blessed with incredible full lips. I'm lucky that I'm also blessed with fuller lips because man, getting fillers is expensive, you know? What next? Our eyebrows. Where is our eyebrow pencil? cannot find my eyebrow pencil, so we're just gonna use a brown eyeshadow. But the one thing I know about the Philippines is, or the Filipinos, is they love their eyebrows. They love, like, I'm pretty sure if Filipinos could just have like three products, they'd use lip tint, their eyebrow pencil or whatever, like mascara. I'm pretty sure that's all they use. It's all about natural glow. 
I'm actually just gonna use this exact same this angled eyebrow brush and just line my eyelid a little bit. Before we do our eyes, I'm just going to put more blush and then add more. Again, Filipinos love their blush. They love it. They love looking like a sunburnt beach gal. And then we will use our eyelash curler. Curl it like there's no tomorrow. Get our mascara. Everyone in the Philippines, I swear, they use this mascara. I'm pretty sure I even bought this in the Philippines, but they love this mascara. A lot of the makeup artists use this there. It's waterproof. It definitely doesn't last a whole day, to be honest with you. It's not my favorite. I'm actually in the lookout for a... Oh! I'm on the lookout of a better mascara. I prefer the Marc Jacobs mascara that I have, but it's like way too expensive. It doesn't like justify me buying another tube of Marc Jacobs mascara. I actually really, really, really want to buy the tubing mascara where when you go in the shower, it just comes off when you go like this and it comes out in tubes. So that's really, really what I want to get. So I'm just gonna pop this one. But because I do like my lips looking big, I'm gonna actually lip, I'm gonna line it first with my Maybelline New York Color Sensational in Almond Rose. I'm pretty sure this is a dupe of like a really expensive lip liner. I can't remember now. That's the reason why I bought this. Like I specifically Googled like Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk or something like that, like dupes and Google or some makeup vlogs or bloggers said this is a dupe for some, some expensive lipstick. I'm a dupe fan. If you can find a dupe of any expensive makeup, I love that for you, you know? There's no point spending triple the amount on a makeup product when they're pretty much the same thing. You know what I mean? This might be way too bright, but to be honest with you, a lot of Filipinos love their lip. They love their lip. We might just add some highlighter. I'm just gonna use my Dior one, but it's falling apart, so just ignore that. I'm gonna go like this. Like this. There you go, guys. This is how I used to do my makeup in the Philippines. I actually sometimes would use an eyeliner, like those liquid eyeliners, um, pen, but I don't wear that anymore. So, yeah. Actually, while we're here, let me just use this Filipino product from Sunny's Face. This is their uh, eye crayon in the color clay. It's their color stick crayon. Um, we're gonna pop it here. This is giving like I'm going out to dinner makeup look if you're a Filipina. Uh, sorry, if I'm still living in the Philippines. Okay. You see how I didn't really change anything in my face? I just darkened my eyebrows, added lipstick. Um, you can still see all of my features. You know, my freckles are there. You know what I started loving recently? I loved darkening my beauty marks. I used to never do that. For some reason, I never thought my these two things were beauty marks. I thought they were just freckles, so. try and do like a different makeup look for how they do it here in Sydney but I need to buy more makeup products because I'm still using the same thing I'm like the type of person that will use the same products forever until it runs out even if it's like five years don't listen to me don't do that because 
Makeup obviously expires and especially mascara, it's really important to take care of your eyes. So try to have mascara for like a maximum of three months and then buy a new one because health is wealth, you know? I'm gonna try and get more products first. I really wanna get cream contour from Makeup by Mario. I really wanna get liquid lips, uh, sorry, liquid cream blushes from Kylie Cosmetics or Rare Beauty. So many. I try and recreate makeup that I usually see here in Sydney or Australia. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this makeup video. I'm reminiscing of the Philippines, so I thought I just wanted to create something that reminded me of the Filipinos and my people. <laughs> um, so yeah, see you in my next video, guys. And take care. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get updated every time I post something. Um, yeah. Bye. <laughs>